my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today I'm so excited because we're gonna be doing our first look of the year for Diwali. I'm gonna go with a super silvery look today because I really wanted to play with this P. Louise palette. It's very silvery. If you guys have any requests on like what colors you wanna see, then let me know in the comments below. Okay, before doing anything, I like to start with, with my brows. I'm gonna use the Bare Brows Brow Gel, which I've absolutely been loving, because it's just so quick and easy. Do you guys like this kind of micro-bladed brow effect? I kind of like push them up, and then I just tidy the top bit. And obviously I just like to press that down with my brush. I'm just gonna let that dry for a bit. I'm just gonna go in with some of my Too Faced Bonus Way Concealer. Carve these brows. And I like to do the top two. Literally so easy i'm gonna use this p louise oh so beautiful brow pencil it says m on here i have no idea what shade this is but we're just gonna fill our eyebrows just lightly fill in the brows i do go a bit more heavy handed towards the outer corner okay i think i'm happy with the brows around they're looking good guys i'm gonna go in with a, with a little bit of p louise base and we're just gonna blend that all in and i'm just gonna tap this out with my beauty blender obviously you can use a brush for more of that you know coverage but this stuff really helps your eyeshadow just like pop honestly okay we're gonna be using this going solo palette by p louise it's just like a bunch of greys and blacks and silvers in here, so I'm really excited to try this out. I'm first gonna use the shade On The Rocks, and I'm gonna start carving a crease and see kind of like what shape I wanna go with. And I'm just gonna blend this out and really thicken it. I recently watched this series on Netflix that has been all over the place, which is Dharma, and it's a, series on the Jeffrey Dahmer case. I don't know how accurate it is. I don't think it is because I think the the woman who kept calling the neighbor, it wasn't really a neighbor, it was a lady who lived nearby. Anyways, it's quite a lot of I don't know. But overall like it's actually just so traumatizing. Like I found I it took me ages to finish it because I couldn't finish one episode. I got a white chocolate mocha frappuccino literally so bomb then i'm gonna take the shade ring off it's not a black it's like a very dark charcoal and i'm just gonna really carve crease very pigmented then i'm gonna take the shade prenup this is just a really light gray and i'm gonna go back in with that darker gray and just keep building at like a gradient do any of you have those days where you just constantly drop stuff because I'm literally having that day right now. These eyeshadows are like blending so nicely. Obviously it doesn't have to be super neat on the lower half of the eye because we're going to carve that out. Okay, I'm now going to take a makeup wipe. Obviously I have nails but it's just easy to just wipe any fallout or excess. Look at that. Okay, now for the hardest bit is to get some P. Louise base on a really flat brush. I love the Sigma S20 eye cream brush. It's just so precise. Look how precise that is. I kind of want to take a ring off and then create like a wing like a smoky wing i'm gonna grab the shade replaceable first of all it's literally so creamy and we're gonna put it towards the center here 
I'm gonna grab the shade of Betrayal, which is a very light silver. And I'm just creating this gradient between a dark, shimmery silver and the pale one. Oh my god, I'm literally like in love. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now we can curl our lashes. I'm not gonna put too much mascara because obviously I'm gonna go in with some falsies. Get any fallout out. I woke up with a scratch on my forehead and I literally have no idea where it came from. I'm like, did the devil pass by and leave a mark on me? Because it's literally right on my forehead, right there. For the lashes, I'm gonna go in with these eyelore lashes. I literally don't know what which ones they are. To be honest, any eyelore lashes are pretty good. Okay, so for skin, I'm gonna first start off with some of the NYX Plump Right Back Primer, which is actually really, really good. It's just super tacky. So your makeup literally just sticks to it. For foundation, I'm going to use the Be Perfect Chroma Cover Foundation. I really like this stuff. Obviously, I'm just going to colour correct a little bit. I literally use the Elf Putty Blush in... I, I literally have no idea what colour this, this is in, but it's like a bright red. And I really like it because it sets quite matte. So it doesn't really interfere with the foundation. literally covers everything and it's not cakey lasts really well throughout the day the only thing i would say is that it does oxidize a little bit so i'm going to balance that out with some concealer I'm gonna bring it down my neck okay lashes are dry okay lashes are finally on oh my god that was such a process i'm going to go in with the rare beauty concealer in the shade 330 n because i haven't used this in a long time Then that all out. Get that liner super sharp. I'm gonna put a little bit of Huda Beauty Gram Cracker just for a little bit of like brightness. Then for bronze, I'm gonna use the Pink Honey BFF in the shade Salted Caramel. I kind of just like to do this to get that super like contour okay we need to set the under eyes and i'm going to use this for the first time i've been seeing this everywhere I'm using huda beauty easy bake in the shade banana bread so not used to this but it's giving flawless oh i've got this bad habit of saying it's giving it's giving this it's giving that can do it here oh i feel like if you want that flawless look you need to powder everywhere like crazy and then I'm just going to brush that off. But I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury powder. Just to give that like really bright under eye look. Then for blush, I'm going to use this Bourjois blush in the shade Golden Lilac. Because I feel like I wanted this more like baby pink blush. I'm just going to add a little bit of bronzer by Beauty Bay. For eyes, I want to go in with that dark shade. Just really close to the lash line. Oh my god, this is like super intense. And then I'm gonna go in with the grey, well, a mix of the greys, and then just blend that out. And then a bit of mascara. I feel like I need an inner corner wing. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to go in with this P. Louise lip pencil in Shady Lady. And then I'm going to go in with NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. Alright guys, that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. I don't usually wear colours like this, but do you know, with the right outfit and the right jewellery, this look is so nice it does take quite a while but as long as you get down your cut crease you're good but you can also use if you struggle with cut creases you can always use an eyelash curler 
press it against your eyelid and then just kind of use that to put the eyeshadow on. I have a bunch of videos on my Instagram and my TikTok where I show that technique. But yeah, don't forget to let me know what other coloured looks you want to see in the comments below. Let me know if you guys are celebrating Diwali. I'm going to have so many looks come up for you guys on here and on my Instagram and TikTok. So make sure to follow me on all of those platforms. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.